Hey there, and welcome back to Parasite Eve. So we beat the game last time. Now I did a lot of grinding and all that. So basically, this is New Game Plus. I'm on disc two, and I just did some of the museum. Basically, up to the T-Rex. Killed T-Rex. Now that's as far as I am. The Chrysler Building on New Game Plus isn't unlocked as soon as you get, you know, the map. But it's a very stupid to go there immediately. So just to show you my stats, right now I have the Warden. I had to redo the end of the game because the gun you name is the gun you keep. And right now the Warden has 370 attack, 317 attack, 117 range, and 220. I have acid and ice. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, I'm also going to put Medea's gun in storage. I don't know if that's going to be useful. My body armor is up to 72, 62, 51. My HP is up max, so it's at 714, which, if you look at this, is, I believe, the highest my HP's ever been. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's basically almost the highest. I am at the currently level 33, and I got some... I got basically all my Parasite Eve powers. And I grinded up ammo, which, by the way, if you ever need to grind ammo, I recommend doing the warehouse. Because each enemy basically drops 30 bullets. So if I need to, um, I will leave the, um, I'll leave the Chrysler building, the farm ammo there. Now how the Chrysler building works is I never actually beat it. Basically the Chrysler building, it, um... I think it's every 10 floors, you get a elevator key, and so every 10 floors is like a checkpoint. I've only ever did, like, to the first 10 floors, and that was it. But yeah, there's the boy. Now, if I go to the museum right now, I can trigger the end cutscene and just start the end game now, but... This is the end game. The Chrysler build. Our company. Yeah, I grinded ammo. I have a very decent stats. They could be better. And yeah, I used all my bonus points already. And what I'm going in with right now is a few level threes and level four medicines. I can't get rid of that. I should have put Medea's gun in storage, but no, oh well. And I have a two tools for items on this run that I want to use to go to my weapon there might be a weapon later on if i get a super tool that is even better than a gun i have now but we'll see now a heads up i probably will be doing all this in one sitting so i'm gonna be cutting in and out i'm gonna try and basically each checkpoint might be a part, maybe, but all this is going to be in one video, so if, if I do beat the Chrysler building, you could just go to the end of the video and watch me fight the actual final boss. But until then, we have 100 floors. Let's do this. I got ammo, I got armor, I got some heals, not many. I got my junk weapon, I got armor. I am at level 33, I got all my Parasite Eve powers. Now what this building is like is, each floor is kind of different, but all the hallways are the same, and there's random encounters. Basically each floor has hallways, some encounters, an elevator, which is always locked in key to get the card key, and at times a storage room that has two to three chests in it, and sometimes four. The items you get in the Chrysler building are really good. So if you do New Game Plus, but you but don't, you, you know you just started the game, these first few floors are possible, and there are some really good guns you can get. The elevator is useless, by the way. I need a card key. This is what I'm talking about. This is one of the storage rooms. Yep, four chests. We got range plus two, which I'll use it. A bullet cap plus one. Rockets, which I'm not using rockets, and a tool. Alright. If things drag on a bit, I do, I might start the, uh, fast-forward setting. 
but we'll see. Right now I'm only on floor one. Losing my patience already would be a bad sign. Now I'm gonna go south. This is gonna be a lot of wandering through corridors. Now if I remember to think correctly, all these enemies shouldn't really hurt me. Yeah. All right, I'm immediately telling you the medicine one's not worth it. Also, you saw nothing special. That's just the ice effect freezing the enemies. I wasn't sure what to add to my gun, because I've had acid, which is basically poison, and the ice sounded interesting. I just threw it on there because of a whim. And as you can see, it's basically blizzard. It is a dead end, okay. By the way, for a building that is big, huge, has a very uh, extensive company, it's just hallways, not many rooms or anything. Oh. Stop, stop, you're wasting ammo. Please, please, please. I don't want to grind ammo again. Even though grinding ammo actually is quite fast. Alright, I'll... Right, I'll take the mess of one. I can always use medicine ones as a top off. I'm at 714 right now. So right now, all the enemies will basically be doing no damage to me. Wait for it. I'm waiting. I don't want to be blind. I'm waiting for it. There it is. I'm going to pass on those. Hopefully throughout this uh, facility I find a gun that attached to my other gun. The one I'm using now that makes it really good. Because first strike, really useful. Dual inputs, really useful. Took me a while to get used to it. Then after I started getting used to it, that final boss did not even... Didn't stand a chance. On top of that, I had to redo that boss a few times. You should have saw the last attempt, because I had to redo the save this gun. Holy cow. Record time, personally. So I think for the first 10 floors, the enemies really aren't going to change in variety. They're all going to be these simpletons. It's afterwards, they'll start, you know, changing up a little. I think every 10 floors, the enemies change, but they stay the same for those 10. Right now, this floor is everything dies, doesn't do damage, but they blind me. I hate the blind part. Right, let's go. I'll take the medicine. I want to increase my storage capacity if I level up. Or when I level up, I should say, because I probably will. I have a hundred bloody floors. Right here, I'll show you. You need a key. But I don't want to waste BP bonus points on, you know, things like that. Yeah, I'm going to discard these. I'll keep maybe one or two medicine ones, but I'm not going to keep that many. The problem is, is ten floors with all the items I'm going to get. I'm going to... Ooh, another three. Okay. Bullet cap, which, honestly, I don't need that. Offense plus three, that one's actually quite good. And an offense plus... Holy cow, I'm going up six. What do you think is going to be the highest my gun's going to get before I finish this? I'm thinking 450. That's a guess. And on top of that, if I put in leveling and put my bonus points to damage, I can easily get there and bypass that. Honestly, I can't wait to beat this. Not because I'm not enjoying this game. Love this game. But... Like a Dragon Infinite Money's coming out, and I love Like a Dragon 1, and I want to replay that. And I'll just replay it for the YouTube channel, because why not? Beautiful. I guess I'm taking the medicine. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Like a Dragon has such an amazing story. I love the RPG mechanics and all that. Yakuza games are great with their stories. Now I'm gonna say this now. 
I'm on floor two out of a hundred. You're gonna let's get bored because I'm gonna be rambling or being extremely silent later on. Because I doubt I have much things to talk about for a hundred floors. Well, I guess I can use the 100 floors to get more used to doing this. Mostly, I'm... The video should be out by now, yeah. I explained in a different video, I'm only doing this to incentivize myself to actually beating games. I really don't expect anything out of the YouTube channel. It's been... It's old. Trust me, there's videos on there I deleted a long time ago. It started in late high school. Yeah, it was... I, no, it was slightly after high school. Yeah. And then I dropped it, because I'm like, ah, this really isn't for me. And now I'm back, but I'm mostly back for a different reason. I'm back to incentivize myself to beat games I bought. Like, there are other games I really want to play, but I keep overwhelming myself with the amount. I want to play Sunday Gold, which looks amazing. I want to play Like a Dragon again before Infinite Money comes out. I want to finish Days Gone, which at the moment I've gone a whole week without playing it. I wonder if the loot in these rooms is random. I'm probably going to say no. Okay, if the loot's random in here, one of these will not be a card. But if it isn't random, one of these are going to be a gun card. Oh, that's a tool. Or actually, it might be the next floor. I know one of these has a gun card. Alright, what's a USP? I'm just going to reload and put all it. Oh, I can't. I'm full on ammo. One second. Let me reload the warden. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Probably the only bad thing about doing this right now, the YouTube type thing to beat games, is uh... Wow, you're... Not that good. I'm just gonna... For the guns I really, really don't want, if I start running out of storage space instead of going downstairs, I'm just gonna throw them out. But, yeah... Oh... <laughs> Hopefully, you know, this does its thing. I also have a few other emulators, too. I can also play NES, SNES, GameCube. Definitely not Switch. I would never do Switch. I will leave it there. Also, these birds are basically an alternative bird. Like the ones in the, um... In the park. They also drop junk. So you can also farm for junk here. I'm already done with that, and I'm not making another junk weapon. I'm happy with the gun I have now. I'm saying that now until I get like 40 floors in and everything's killing me. I honestly have no idea how hard this gets. All I know is the boss on the top, top floor, it's hard. Beautiful, right before I got blinded. I'll take those, you never, uh, I'm just gonna take all of it and I'll be just going through my inventory like crazy. But yeah, a few things that suck about me trying to do this is, yeah, I'm playing games I actually want to play now, but then I don't, you know, do things like read a book every now and then, because sometimes I like to read, and I actually am watching One Piece, and I'm on like episode almost 400. Probably one of my favorite animes. The first anime I ever seen was Yu Yu Hakusho. Watch that in Tsunami. You know what that is, you probably feel old like me. <laughs> Though I'm only a spry young age of 29. Oh yeah, my new controller comes today. Hopefully it's good. Oh yeah, I hope you're ready to hear this music for a good hour and a half. I have no idea how long this is going to take me. Honestly, for the first, like, ten floors, I could use the speed-up function. The problem was, 
Yeah, the noise does get annoying, and I do not want to annoy you guys too much. And I could cut it all out. Well, what's the fun in that? Basically, I have, what, six videos of actual story, and a one of just hallways with some story. Who loves hallways? Me. Alright. I already lost the count. What floor am I on? I think this is five, maybe? Maybe? I have no idea. Also, who builds a building like this? There's nothing in here. I wonder if the layouts and the look of the building changes the higher you get. Because right now, I have no idea. The only thing that's going to suck is when I run the dead ends and I have to run long ways back. I got a feeling this is a dead end. Holy cow, how far south does this one go? Oh, okay, now we're going west. No encounters, I'm shocked. Alright, and when uh, one of these ends up being a dead end, I am using the speed up function to rock back. Oh. Um, I'll keep going left for now. Either I just wanted a giant circle or something. There's a dead end. Alright, we're going up. I'm not, for the first few floors, not gonna try and seek out the storage room. If I don't find it, I don't find it. They have trading cards and stuff, so you can, you know, give them to the guide, you know, put mods on your weapons. The thing is, is I'm not going to go on my way to get the trading cards and certain things that they're no use to me, because when I beat this, I'm done. And then I won't play this game for probably another year. Okay, that's a dead end, so we're taking the left. Roger. I mean, you can see the mitochondria type slime all over the walls. So clearly something's here. But Eve's at the Statue of Liberty right now. Hmm. Hello, guys. Oh, no drops. Okay. I wonder how high my level will get. Not just my damage or my gun, but my level. Probably not that much higher. I don't know if there's a level cap in this game, honestly. Alright, the rats don't really have anything. And also, one bit me and it took zero damage. Nice. I guess I'm going up. Birds. Makes me think of sword magic of Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> Actually, what does that ice effect remind me of? I think that's like a Final Fantasy VII ice effect noise, maybe. Hmm. No idea. Please be, please be. Yes, okay, good. I didn't go to a dead end. I can't wait to go up higher and get lost. Probably will happen. It'll probably happen like. How high this is, it's gonna probably happen at least seven times. And my guess is 100 floors, I think I'm on floor five or six right now. I'll use the speed up function probably a good bit. All right, yep, oh, they attacked me. Everyone dies. Um, 
I'll take the medicine too. I'll replace it with the medicine one. Medicine two is more worthwhile keeping than the medicine one. Medicine one I only use if I'm waiting, like what, losing 20 HP. I never want to keep going straight up because I got a feeling it's just going to be dead end. I want to go left, go down the hallways, see if there's a storage door. There's probably a way to do this, like a strategy guide that makes it so you immediately go up a floor instead of just, you know, rope running in circles, but yeah, I'm doing this to myself. circle or is it a layout? Probably just the layout. Yeah, just the layout. Mm -hmm. Yep, dead end. Alright, we're going south. Then if south's dead end, I'm gonna use the speed up function, go back to north, go west. This is the one time I'm happy I'm playing on the emulator for the speed up function, especially with farming the junk and everything, and redoing all the game. I only redid all the game because I'm like, ah, it's easier to level up killing all the main story bosses. That's the great thing about the main story bosses is they will level you up quite a bit, so you don't have to worry about, you know, farming. The only thing you really have to farm in this game is the junk. Okay, I, did I go in a circle? Alright, we know what time it is. Oh wait. Oh, that actually worked out for the best. I thought that was going to be a very long hallway. I think if I do like a dragon, because I love that game, and I will start a new game, I'm gonna do the Millennium Tower. I didn't do it in Like a Dragon when I originally played it, and then I started New Game Plus without knowing what the Millennium Tower was, and yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Millennium Tower. <laughs> that game's so good. Real Yakuza use game pads. But that'll be when I'm done with all this. And also I got work tomorrow, so we'll be doing this that late. And also my friends probably want to play something together. How I do it is I usually just quickly edit a video, because I don't usually really edit anything. I just want to cut things out here and there. And what I'll do is I'll render videos while I'm sleeping. Best way to do it, honestly, for me. Ooh, we got the storage room. Nice. I don't think I'll actively look these out until probably floor... I'm gonna say I'm not gonna look for them until probably Kevlar Jack. It has no stats, it's really not worth my time. I'm gonna throw it out. The Kevlar Jacket doesn't have any stats it carries over. See? It's all the zeros down the board. So it's not worth my time trying keeping it, so I am discarding that. And you can yell at me, being like, you idiot, you that gun's amazing. Fine. But I don't want it. Just like I don't want that, nor that. I might just discard them. Actually, before I do, what are the stats on them? Worth it? Oh, uh, it gives me two attack. This one's not worth it. it. Just gives me two range. I'm not wasting a tool for range. I'm gonna use a mess of one because I can. I'm gonna throw this out. It hurts as a loot whore to throw things out like that, but I don't need it. 
I don't. <laughs> Pardon me, it's like, play an audiobook while I'm doing this. Love to, but nah. Then I'll focus too much on that. Ooh, it's a dead end. Uh, did I come from the north or did I come from the south? Hmm. I don't remember. Alright. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Nope, we came from there. We're going south. We're gonna go there. Nope, dead end. Perfect. Oh, I glitched the game earlier, too. I was in the warehouse, I was using the speed-up function, and I ran through an area that had an encounter, but I was too close to the despawn zone, basically. I was near a door, and I transitioned into the door. And what happened is, after that, another combat started, and my game just broke. <laughs> I had to reload. So, you know, the speed-up function breaks this game if you're not careful. So I will do my best to be careful. I figured that one out and I'm like, oh. I was farming for, I think, ammo at the time. Make sure I had a decent amount of bullets. Because depending on how each 10 floors look, I'm gonna look at my ammunition because I'm using a machine gun, which is the least ammo friendly gun in the game. bat and two raptors. Just keep moving until it does its thing. It does no damage, but it's still annoying. I'm gonna, like, just check the ammo. You can keep the medicine. And sometime after this, I want to do Parasite Eve 2, but right now I have just two big games I want to play. Still doing Days Gone. I want to do Yakuza Like a Dragon, which that one's going to be a long one, too. Eh, oh well. Alright, we got a trading card. We got P228. A PE plus one, and a CR evade. Alright. Whoop, now what I want to do. There we go. And I'm gonna reload that gun's bullets there, and I'm gonna see what your stats are. Um I'll hold on you for a while. Oh no, not club. Uh one range, one bullet capacity. I don't think that's really worth it, but I'll hold on to it just in case. Oh. How about you all just get out of my way, and I just climb immediately to floor 100? Beautiful. Junk. Oh. 
elevator. Did I come from here? Let me see. Nope. I did. Okay. This should be coming up on the elevator boss floor soon. Oh, yeah, the bat. Oh. The bat sucks. I don't want the bat. Yes, I killed it in time. Pick the ammo. Just me, but looks like there's more slime on the floors at times. But, like I said, it's probably just me. in here. SV jacket with uh, capacity plus one on it. And CR evade. Okay. What are your stats? Uh, 2p energy, but that's it. Mm. My inventory's getting there, but I'm gonna hold off, you know, throwing anything away. Only things with zero stats on them, like the Kevlar vest I'll throw away. Because, one, it's not as good as my body armor. Two, worthless to keep them at that point. this game a couple times. I wouldn't ever take my full advice on the way you handle guns in this game. This is the way I do it. There's probably a way more effective way of handling all the stats and everything. For all I know, I could be doing it the worst way. But it works. I'm happy with it. Worthless. Not unless I want to replace the weapon I have now, but even if I want to, I need a super tool.
This music makes me think of like an ice cavern level and something. Almost like a Miss Pac-Man-ish feel. Yes, one. Miss Pac-Man made madness. The first level, Egypt. Best song in that game. Oh, it's so good. Then the ice cavern one, this is what it reminds me of. So far, this floor has been extremely linear, which I have no problem with. Alright, there's the elevator. See you later. Oh. Hello, uh, storage room. I don't expect anything too amazing from me, but I'll take anything. Uh, we got a P plus one. We got a defense two. And a P226, which only gives me an extra bullet. I'm probably going to throw that one away. That is quite useless for me. Yeah. At this point, what am I going to use this for? It only gives me one. What does the P228 do? Give me a second. It gives me one of each. That's why I'm holding on to it. Okay. All right. Actually, I think what I'll do is... I doubt you want to watch me climb all these floors. Maybe I'll do it so I cut it out. Do the boss. And then when I fight the boss, I continue from there, and on the last ten floors, I show everything. Hey, I'm just thinking. Oh, boss, we did it. We're here. This is the first boss in the Chrysler building. It is a spider. All right. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm basically using a minigun against him. Oh, the music changed. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Now is the Chrysler key work only on the... F hmm, I'll have to figure that out. Oh, yeah, the enemies have changed. Oh, those are some big monkeys. Medication and ammo. Okay, I'll take... Alright, so the music does change. That's good. The enemies have definitely changed. Those monkey guys are way bigger and meaner looking than they were back at the park. Snakes are snakes. My question is, are the bosses here unique for the Chrysler buildings? I don't remember fighting that giant spider looking thing. I fought a spider like creature on top of the hospital, but that wasn't the same. It's a snake. Oh, there are more snakes down there. And I find an elevator. I'm gonna have to see if this opens. All right, for a storage room on a different level. Also, I can swear they put enemies, too, in here sometimes, but that must maybe. SP suit. 
Oh my, those stats are amazing. 58. 38. Yeah, I know the SP suit is really good. Holy cow. Mm. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to have to keep that on though. But yeah, the SP jacket I could throw out. Alright, we're using the medicine one. We're using a PE on you. And we're throwing away the SV jacket. And at the moment, I'm going to put this in the trash, too. Alright, I'll use another one of those. I'm going to sort. No, 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 no. Alright, that SV suit is pretty good. Only holds two mods by the looks of it, though. Oh. Uh, come on, controller. Live. You got this. Oh, yeah, floor's done. Let's get going. I need to find an elevator, though. I want to know what I can do with the key. Because if it's only for floors below me, that's going to suck. Let me see. Elevator key to the 10th... ...in the floor. 10th in the net floor. The Chrysler building. Do I have to hold on to the keys, or is it just still unlocked afterwards? Because there are sometimes you have to actually hold on to the keys to reopen the build, the building. Oh man, these guys are huge. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. If I have to hold on to all the keys, every 10 floors I can get rid of one and hold on to the other. Let's see. Oh, damn it. Guess I'm doing more floors. Okay, so that's how it's gonna work. You're gonna be mean to me. So I have to beat the next boss, or I just go down two floors, which I don't feel like doing. I also, if I get desperate, have save states, but I don't want to use them. Although if I get desperate and I have to go somewhere and do something, I will use a save state. Just, it hit me. This place reminds me a little bit, except without all the traps, the insta deaths, the invisible treasure chests, the spawning enemies. This place reminds me of a little bit of Palace of the Dead in Final Fantasy XIV. Especially this song. Running through the caverns on probably what floor 20 to 30 and Palace of the Dead. Alright, actually, there we go. Oh, yeah, give me all that ammo. Yeah, if that's SV Suit 1, I bet there's another one. Not SV Suit 2, and that one will probably be really good too. But I'm gonna hold on. If I get a super tool, I might think about popping stats over. It's just too tempting. Nope, we got another one. Two chests again. We got Kevlar suit. And a tool. Give me a second. Kevlar suit. Not as good as that, it gets one defense, one crit. This is two defense. All right. I have a lot of tools, like four right now. So to make room, I'm gonna just take these stats and put them over on my armor. I'm gonna keep the SP suit technically for now. There are no guns to bring over, so we're all good. Well, ooh, man. What do I want for dinner today? I'll figure it out when dinner comes near closer. I got pot of tea downstairs being made. Um, my little tea warmer. I made mixed berry tea like I love. 
No honey this time, though. Just straight up to you. On Sundays, I love to do a caffeine-free day, in a way. I get caffeine-free tea, I make a pot, and you know, I just drink that in water. But then my brother likes to come over sometimes and bring me a coffee from like Simple Roast or Dunkin's or Starbucks. Ruin it, but hey, I won't turn down a free coffee. Well, so far these floors are easy. They're not really doing any damage to me. But this is still the beginning of the tower. I'm not even a quarter way done yet. I think I'll definitely start feeling it after floor 2530. The at least star hurting me in a way, uh, more than what they are now. Don't be at that end. That's a good hallway. On red plant. So how I'm knowing it's time to go up is this guy here. If I see a red plant, I keep staying the course. But if I see a wall and not a red plant, nope. I'm waiting for the floor where they like put a red plant on the wall, making me excited I'm there and I'm not. Oh, what are we fighting today? Banana hands? Snakes, probably on the right side. So let's move, okay. Snakes are great, they give ammo, six each. That's 18 bullets right there. And they take, what, three bullets each to kill? Yeah, it's like, yeah, three or four. What's my ammo looking like? Cause if it's about the, let's see. 801, it's not bad. If it was near like 900, I'd reload my guns. So I'm not wasting ammo and ammo's going in the crate. The max you can hold is 999. Also, if I find a rocket launcher here, I might use it sometimes. Because right now I've used shotguns. I haven't used a grenade launcher. I used a pistol, shotguns, I used machine guns, I used a sniper, I used an assault rifle. I haven't used a rocket launcher yet in this game. And hey, if you're interested in showing and seeing, I'll show you. Definitely more mutated than the others. Had like long knife fingers. It was bigger too. Because remember the subway level with the moles? That thing looks horrifying. Oh, I'm blind. Oh, stop. Stop wasting. Stop. Stop. Please stop. I'm wasting so much ammo. So once. Also, that guy actually hurt me. Yeah, he hurt me. Like I said, if I get desperate for ammo, I'm gonna just go back out and farm the warehouse. 30 bullets each. Fight usually two to three enemies. You can easily stock up on ammo there. Oh no, that's dead end. We know what that means. Alright. CR jacket. And defense plus one. Does the CR jacket have anything interesting that I probably would want? No. I'll take each one. There we go. 
I'm trying not to waste tools, but I have, might as well use them. at that end now than like two minutes down the hallway. I hope I find a gun here that has a really good ability because I want to put a really good mod on this gun. Right now I got acid, I got poison, uh, I got acid, I got ice. I want that one thing that tops it off. Like, I've yet to come across that one ability that just brings it to the next level. Make sure dual actions, very nice. Hit all enemies, very nice. But I'm looking for that one. like someone's starving and their stomach's growling. Oh, sweet, a tool. And... Uh-oh. I knew it. I knew there were monsters here. What is it? I have no idea what that is. Man, yeah, just uh Uh what? I have no idea what that monster was. All I did was give me 30 bullets. Interesting. And it looks like the energy beam is the best way to kill those guys, because they're quite resistant to bullets. Or they have a lot of HP. Mm, I just got a haircut. My head feels so much better. My hair gets long, it starts to get curly, and it's a little greasy, but when it's nice and cut, I look... Better see a red. Yeah, I see red. Um, probably the next boss, I will go back down, get an elevator, and I'm going to save it. Never hurts to save, and there's no save points so far. Why? It leads to nothing. Why do you make a building like this? I'm gonna ask myself, in Palace of the Dead, why is someone always laying traps on the floor? Who keeps turning me into a frog? Stop it. Alright, gotta run down. They're here. Very safe. Sorry, I have my liaison. Alright. 
Dark Mole. There was a mole. I'm feeling good about the North. North never leads you astray. You know, I always said South never leads you astray. I don't believe in Parasite Eve 2 there is its version of a Chrysler building. I don't think there is. Also, the combat in Parasite Eve 2 is more action-y. Like, kind of more uh, survival horror-ish, but still had RPG elements. It's still a good game, though. I honestly barely remember the story. I don't think I... I played it maybe a couple of years ago, honestly. I honestly barely remember anything about it. Just the beginning. Dragon emulators have a hard time emulating that game. The graphics are awful. Like, don't load correctly and then things go it. Parasite 2 is a lot weirder to emulate. Way weirder. It's like if you try and emulate Dirge of Cerberus and you get, what, 10 FPS? Okay, where am I going? That's an elevator. Uh, all right. Oh. All right, another tool. Give me a gun or armor so I can use it. Another tool. All right, and then two. Oh God, damn it! It doesn't give me anything. Well, I'll just reload you this way. It's a grenade launcher. Dead end. Yeah. Come on, stairwell. Thank you. There's the red pot. I lost count, but maybe I should be coming on a boss soon, maybe? We'll see. Either way, when I do actually do the boss, I'll get the key, go down the floor, I'll take the elevator, kill banana arm monkey. Ooh, ammo, ammo, ammo. Need, need, need. I'll take ammo as gridly as a heal three or four. Heck, I'll accept enemies dropping, like, offense plus one. Very rarely do they do that, but when they do, this guy goes for it. No, 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 I'm wasting so much ammo. Stop, please, a, uh... I need to have, uh, I know there's armors that are immune to, like, blind and poison and all that. If I immediately come across one, I'm slamming it on this armor. Oh, what we got? Bats. Alright, just keep moving. Keep moving. Waiting. Alright. 
I give up. Stupid suit bats. wonders how long this video is gonna be if I don't edit anything out. So far it's been 30, no, 40 minutes now. Ooh boy. <laughs> it's gonna take days to render. Cool. Uh, M29. Ooh, I will take that and put those stats on my gun. And bullet cap plus four. I don't need any more bullet cap. My gun uh, uh, holds so many bullets already. All right, do this. Gonna do that. Let's give it to you. If oh wait wait wait, look at all the slots that gun has. Oof. I'll take your stats though. Plus two oh six sixty eight twenty eight. Mm 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 mm. I have the best submachine gun ever. Like I said, it reminds me of the TMP and RE4. Once you upgrade it, you get that special upgrade. Bam! Holds like... It's 300 bullets, if I remember correctly. It is 300, right? And then if you upgrade the striker all the way, the special upgrade is 100 shotgun shells in it. No! I tried to avoid it. Keep moving. Beautiful. I'd rather have stuff that increases my range just a little bit more. People always say have about 100 range if you're using weapons like this when you're in the Chrysler building. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm gonna actually throw that away. It doesn't give me stats. It's a grenade launcher, but it's useless to me. Uh, yep. I'm running out of space. I do need to ditch this place soon. I'm gonna save, store a bunch of things, and I'll come back in. Alright, it's just a mole. Your error was actually coming back. You should have just left. So far, this floor seems linear. I might be on the next boss floor. So if I had to guess, boss floors are linear because they want to lead you there. No, I lied. Never mind. Because <laughs> the last boss floor, which is the first boss floor, was quite linear. It was left. I feel left. There's probably, like I said earlier, a map that shows you which ways to turn, how to get the places the fastest, what items are worth picking up to finish the Chrysler building quickly and efficiently. I'm not here for quickly or efficiently. I'm here to do this for the first time. Also, of course, of course, I got a space bar with the speed up function. But so far, everything's behaving. Holy cow, how far down am I going? I think it's gonna be a dead end. Shocked it's not. Oh man, if this one's dead end, I'm definitely using the space bar. Ooh, nice. 
nice. Hopefully I don't run that weird special enemy again. That one was weird and special. Nice. Okay. And I'll use, okay. Probably the only new, uh, wep uh not weapon, geez, the only new game from the past few years I actually 100% completed. I'm actually quite happy with it. I never beaten a Souls game in my life. I suck at them. And then Elden Ring came out and I played that puppy nonstop and I 100% completed that and got every achievement and all endings on. I was happy. I have really good uh, build. I think my favorite sword by end was the Blasphemous Sword. I don't want to talk about that, you know. Oh man, she was... I cheesed that battle, but I did it. I did not summon any companions, but I did it. Alright, alright. Should be almost boss time. doing this my gun stats are slowly going up and when I start actually getting the higher floors then I could start leveling up and have bonus points to also get my guns to look at that. One second. One, 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 one. What? Club four, what do you do? Steal during attack, counterattack at an enemy, and critical percentage increases. Ooh, man. That is a good club. Let's now use clubs. But club four right now is rocking it. So... Let me show you what the super tool does. Actually, I can't. Actually, I can here. We'll hit that, and then we'll... I actually, I'd rather not test it on that at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, holy cow. Club 4 has it going on. I'm gonna have to throw away Club 3, but Club 4, jeez. Buy Club 3, though. I'm gonna throw away these. I'm running out of space, and I don't know how close I am to finishing this floor, but Club 4. I haven't... So, what you haven't seen is I originally tried the Chrysler building, and I different period of time. Last night was tired, and I immediately jumped in the Chrysler building when I unlocked it, started recording. Ran out of ammo immediately, because idiot didn't farm for ammo, didn't pay attention to that, and I was already up, I say, four floors. Would take them all to go back down. And so I equipped the club, and my god, it sucks. Club 4 probably a little better, but my god, Club 3 sucks. And they have to be next to you. Even if they move away, she still attacks and... Just, it's a bad time if you run out of ammo. Just don't. Um, uh, SN2 is nice and all, but... I'm gonna pass, I need space. Yeah, the clubs are definitely emergency countermeasure, but they're not good from what I used. 
I think, okay, so I might have gotten super tools wrong, I think about. Super tools will take the parameters and the or ability or abilities off a weapon or armor and not destroy it. As if I remember correctly, I don't really use super tools because you don't think you really get them in the main playthrough. I think they're hidden though, if they are. I just don't have, you know, I never found one. In this playthrough, at least. Come on, red, red, red. Yes! Give me a boss. This guy would like to save his progress. Also, the one thing I don't like about... So, I grew up on Square Enix games. Love them. Final Fantasy VII was the first Final Fantasy I ever actually played. But it's not my favorite. Nine is. Nine is perfect in every way. But... I don't like new Square games. Final Fantasy VII Remake to me is okay. I love the soundtrack and a few things about it, but honestly, I don't care for new Final Fantasy VII Remake. And then, honestly, 16, I have absolutely no interest in. No idea what happens in it. Or no idea about the main characters, this, that. I have no interest. It looks like a cheap... Uh, I want to say cheap. Someone will get mad at me. It looks like a simplified Devil May Cry game, and I have absolutely no interest in it. And only, uh, that game's talk died down so fast after its release. <laughs> I think my final straw was Square was honestly 15. That game was... I followed it. So it was 13 verses. And I was so excited for it. And I actually like 13, by the way. I beat 13 to 100% all achievements. 13? No, I haven't done that yet. I should one day, maybe. God damn it. Do I have... I don't. <sighs> but, yeah, 13 I'm fine with. And Lightning Returns, I honestly need to actually play. But, let's just say... 15, to me, is a trash fire I wish never came out. I hated everything about 15. The game looked pretty, but I hated the characters, hated the combat, hated the story. The soundtrack is not great. I am the type of guy who loves listening to the soundtracks of a lot of games. Final Fantasy XIV has a really good soundtrack, and... I have my love and hates with relationship with that game. Healers. Um, Astro, I miss you. Um, but yeah, 15 to me is... bad. I will never have the urge to play that game. I will never have the urge to play 16. And honestly, 7 Remake is fine. I actually play it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, new squares, just, then, uh, eh. all their new games they're trying to pump out are complete and other trash. Had that Babylon's Fall game not too long ago, which died as quick as it came, and then that Forspoken game that looks awful, the voice acting, the characters, the only good thing people say is the action's alright, but still, oh god, no. I've seen clips, and I've seen... I've seen some story stuff to understand the game, and that is definitely, uh... Oof. Honestly, the saddest thing Square did recently, uh, not recently, but a while back, is... I love Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicle. Oh. One second. Yeah, I'm gonna reload you. 
while I'm doing that. I love Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube, and when I heard they were remastering it, I was so excited to play it, like, on PC with my friends. And then it ended up being a mobile port for a mobile game. Then they put voice acting it for some reason. It didn't need voice acting. I was so sad. I'm like, oh, I really want a good Crystal Chronicles just remaster. I love Crystal Chronicles. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna liberate. Yeah, Crystal Chronicles, I... That, if I was ever a completionist, that was the first game I ever went for on that. It was my favorite Final Fantasy game at the time, because I loved the combat. And the, and like, not the story. The story's okay, but I like the way they do it. Like, everything you do is put in a journal, with all the people, the locations, the dungeons you go to. Oh, wow, I got close to killing you. Nice. And yeah, it's just... I was so sad to see it come out as... It's a mobile port. That's not what I wanted for... A remaster of that game. It really wasn't. Yeah, that's one thing I'll never forgive Square for. It's like... You guys could have remastered that game right. Oh. Yes. Oh, right. Do, 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 do. Going to the first floor. Yeah, Crystal Chronicles was my favorite GameCube game. I played solo the entire time. I was mostly by myself, a brother and sisters. One brother, two sisters. Uh, they they didn't really play the GameCube, so I was the only one that really did. And I never had the Game Boy extension cord or anything for that, which, hoo boy, I got that later on, tried playing it, yeah. But... That game was... I know in the remaster they had, I think they said two dungeons, but... And... Uh, I beat that game, too. That game was hard at the end. Like, I would farm every dungeon as the years go by, as you're collecting dew to replenish your town's crystal to keep the miasma away. And I would just keep playing a dungeon over and over till I have all the trinkets. I'll take your ammo. Alright, I have presents for you. I'm giving you a lot of stuff. I'm gonna use that, actually. Yeah, to see what they did to Crystal Chronicles and just make it a mobile game, just... It didn't make me happy, we'll say. I'm like the one game, the easiest game you could have ported. Like, sure, you'd have to touch a few things up, control-wise. Because you're putting on modern consoles, and the GameCube has a few of those extra buttons. Fine, 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 fine. I get it. But you guys did. It really was upsetting. All I wanted was... Yeah, I'm gonna just... Move this... Oh, uh, I have to keep it. Maybe I should just, you know. No, oh, well. I'll live. Just a storage base. There we go. Alright, I have some space now. I'm still keeping the two. I have to keep you, sadly. So I have all this beautiful empty space. Okay. Man, that game should have been so simple. So, so simple to master. And the voice acting was unnecessary. I get that modern game remaster, but voicing act, voice acting and make it easier for people to play. Fine. 
I get it. But it didn't approve the game at all. And the two extra dungeons, I have no idea if they're any good or not, but yeah. I liked the dungeons in Crystal Chronicles. I thought they were very interesting. Eh. There's a lot of things. Like, love past square. Do not like present square. Uh, I'm gonna save right here. Why not? Nice. Level 33. Alright, I think I'm gonna wait what anything going on I need to look at. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm gonna continue. Twentieth floor. Alright, round floor twenty one. What do we got? Oh my god, yes! That's what I want! Alright, that is 100% what I want. The BP Jacket 2, which stats are 55, 61, 30. It's way better than the ward, I'll tell you that. But only holds two slots. So for now... Give me that. I don't want to be blind anymore. Just use a regular tool. Now, if you use super tool, I believe you keep it. But yeah, use the tool. Now I can't get blinded. Awesome. Offense. M1 card. Okay. I could just buff his gun. <laughs> Like I said, if any better body armors come around, worst comes to worst, I'll carry over. I'm not sure what I'll carry over. Probably the blind or the stats. If I find an well, armor that has bl blind resistance but has more slots, I'll put my stats onto that armor and I'll restart fresh. But now that I can't be blinded, that's an improvement. No, the poison won't be interesting too. Oh, dead end. Ooh, that sounds awful. Dead end. Dead end. health do I have? Alright, still a really good amount. So the enemies on this floor don't hurt her yet. It's probably floor 30 is when the pain starts to slowly come. I'm gonna say this area is all about poison. Which I find funny. They finally give you a blind resistance armor in the poison area. And then probably the poison resistance armor will be paralyzed area. This is the this is definitely the highest I've went. I've only ever killed that spider boss, so all this is gonna be new. Hey elevator.
once again, you guys. I'll take the medicine too, I can use it to heal. break that silence. <laughs> Got two. Monsters better not be in one. Alright, range, that's okay. I'll accept. An offense, better. And offense. Floor, thank you. Alright, this gun's gonna be Beefy by the time I beat this game. Oh, yeah, I gotta plug in my headphones. Uh, I'll do when I go by, grab tea. I'm almost done with this coffee. Uh oh. Then you know what that means. Very long dead end this way. Just get all, just get all, end it. Alright. Yeah, that's a very long dead end. I think this is going to take longer than the main story took me to beat. Which is kind of funny, which would explain why the game is separated into two discs, because this tower is in disc one and disc two, so I think that's why the game's also two discs long. On top of that, the cutscenes for its time are amazing, especially the transformations. That rat transformation to be in the game is amazing and nasty, which is exactly what it needed to be. Booyah. Ammo 30. Nice. Right now, this place is keeping my ammo topped off, which is, I'm happy, because ammo's a very, very touchy, touchy thing. Also, when I go grab tea, I should learn and see if uh, OBS has like a pause recording button so I don't start a new one. I'll have to see. Medicine, oh my god. Man, I want them, I'm getting it now. Holy cow, you guys are filling me up. And let me just uh, reload you. Oh, wrong way. I'm at 228. <laughs> I think if I really try, I can get the easily 280. I'm gonna need a lot of capacities and use a lot of tools. Alright, we got three in here. We got tool. We got SVO. Ooh. Damn it. Alright, so remember when I said if I get better armor, I will move it over? It's actually not that much better, holy cow. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on it for now, cause, yeah, this is 46, that is 38. It's not as much as I want. But it does add two inventory slots, which is nice, it really is. Cause this one only adds one inventory spot slot, the other one installs two. Hey, elevator. I think I'm just waiting, personally, for the right armor. Just a decent amount of slots. Then I'll carry over the stats with the super tool, and I'll carry over, if I get another super tool, the blind, and I don't know the other one I want to carry over yet. There we go. Cleaned out. But yeah, I, I, 
I'm if I get another super tool, everything super tools are going for armor. Regular tools are going for the weapon. Because my armor is lacking. It really is. I could do better. Just give me a second. I want to check my shipping for my Christmas presents. I bought my niece, nephew, brother, sister. That just isn't arriving today out for delivery. Okay. I don't like to be one of those people that wait until the last second to get Christmas presents. That's what a lot of people do. I'd like to get mine. Uh, just do a, like a month in advance is fine, or even two. Then next week I'll get my uh, mother and dad some, my mom and dad something, and my si little sister. And my big sister, right, right, I should get her something too. those stairs I want progress that's not progress we're going left of you guys. Keep it moving and go. Went smooth. I wonder if there's a mod you can put on armor or something that gives you double XP. I wouldn't be shocked if there was, but then again, there really is no reason for that, I guess, but no idea. Having resistance to blind and paralyze, though, oh, it's going to be great. I would also say poison, but worse comes to worse. I have, I can dual action, detox will work just fine. You know, I think my original assumption is place being Palace of the Dead's wrong. It's more like... Because Palace of the Dead, you go deeper. This is more heaven up high. I'm going up, not down. Sadly, that doesn't even work, because heaven on high is also quite special. Then a new one, which are the, uh, Allegan ruins in, near the Crystal Tower. Yeah, I have a feeling that was going to be a monster. Immediately use the energy shot if it's that thing again. It is. Alright. It does damage too. Ow. All it does is give me ammo too. Not really worth killing it. On top of that, it drains my PE when I do that. Um, okay, yeah, we have medicines, good. I'm using the ones first, and the twos. Nice, 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 nice. I got upload those two days gone videos I recorded a bit ago. My last one I recorded is going to go up this Friday. I'm going to have to do more than that. Which, yes, this is going to definitely going to date me. But Thanksgiving's this Thursday. Oh, I can't wait. On top of that, I love watching the Mystery Science, Mystery Science Theory 3000 marathon on YouTube. I love Mystery Science Theory 3000. Turkey day with some turkey. Love them. Oh, 
I'll take all that. Nothing like watching turkey while eating some turkey. My thing is, I have a few things out in my brain that I remember that I'm shocked I do. And one of them is the cheat codes for Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I think the code to spawn all weapons and give you all the weapons in the game is something like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, uh, triangle, circle, X square, triangle, circle, X square, R2, L2, R2, L2, something like that. And you get all the guns. Uh, my favorite cheat in that game was low gravity. Then you use the tank, you shoot the cannon behind you, and you just fly it like an airplane. It's always fun to do. Except that Vice City honestly has the best radio stations in the, any Grand Theft Auto. V Rock. Five was pretty decent with the story, and then Rockstar, of course, promised us DLC for the single player, and then cancel it, put everything on the multiplayer, how popular it was, and I absolutely refused to touch another Grand Theft Auto again because of that. All new Grand Theft Autos. I'm still mad at that, yes, because they promised me DLC and never delivered because I don't really play the multiplayer. I did not want to do that, whoops. That's gonna fill me, uh, me inventory. I have to be very careful right now if my inventory is filling. Alright, I immediately can just get rid of the cure peas. As much as it wastes uh, some of my PE energy, I'd rather use that than those at the moment. Also, I got a bunch in storage back at the police station. I think when I get the next floor, I'll save and I'm going to take a break. Or I could just do a save stay, but like I said, rather not. I'm going to take that. I guess this is going to take me about... I'm already at... Let me see what the recording's at. I'm already at hour 38. And I'm on floor... 30... 20 something. Yeah, 20 something. About to hit floor 30. So, yeah, it's about 2 hours for 30 floors. That's gonna, oh, yeah, it's gonna be a while. Beautiful. Take, take, take. Oh, wait, take, I'll take that. See if I get anything. Oh, 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 darn it. It's stuck to my coaster. Oh, that was close. Please don't be a monster. No, it's a tool. Alright, yeah, give me something to use the tools on. Stop it. I need things to use the tools on. Give me a gun with decent stats that I can carry over. Or armor. I'm not picky. At the moment, everything is working fine. Uh, well, everything was working fine. Alright. I 
at least I'm making a decent dent in this today. This will probably take a quite a few sessions for me to beat, mostly because supplies, time, all that. I'm gonna be working for a couple of days this week. I'll definitely have to finish this one day. I could probably do it in one sitting, probably like on a Friday. I probably have a higher chance of doing this if I actually sped the entire thing up. But just like save states, uh, I'd rather not. I'm only using that if I run into a dead end and it's a really long corridor. Ooh, beautiful. Empty my inventory. I kind of picked up some junk by accident doing that. God damn it, I have no room. Um, did this have any stats I was interested in? The M79? No, it has a 2 plus range though. I can carry it over. <laughs> uh, all the guns, I can carry that over. Just give me a range. I'll, I'll use a tool, and I'll get rid of you. That's two slots. Um, I don't want to get rid of the cards. I'm going to get rid of a heal, too. And for reasons, I'm going to sort. Bullet cap. Kind of worthless. Tool. God damn it. Give me a gun. Super. <laughs> Alright, super tools are 100% for the armor. Do not touch them. Do not touch them. They're for the armor for me to carry over all the things I need to to buff a even better armor. Let's make me invulnerable. My goal is to break it. Break, break, break. Did I come from this way or no? Oh, beautiful. I got range. I think I came from this way. Give me a second. No, I didn't. Okay, nope, I didn't. I, for some reason, I thought I came from this way. Okay. There are also a lot of games I have uh, in my Steam library I really want to play. The problem is I don't want to be horror game only type thing. I was only doing that because October, now that's by, but I still really want to play them. I want to actually play and beat Alien Isolation, Song of Horror, uh, what other game did I buy? Alyssa, Them and Us. There's just a bunch of games I really want to beat. Then you have a lot of non-horror ones I want to beat too. Octopath Traveler 2, um, Chained Echoes is really good, uh, I also want to do Sunday Gold, which the art style and all that sold me on that game, 
There's just, and I also want to replay Yakuza because the new one's coming out soon. I love, love, love like a dragon. I think like a dragon has an amazing, and I know it's heresy to play in English, but an amazing English voice and cast. Oh, I went backwards. And then I heard the new Kiryu voice actor for, you know, the new game, and... Wow, that guy does not sound like Kiryu. Kiryu's like, what, 50? 60? And that does not sound like a 50, 60 year old Kiryu at all. But, yeah, I'll probably get used to it. Alright, we have to get rid of a mess. Oh, look at this mess. Look what I did to myself. Oh, yeah, we'll do the Chrysler building instead. Oh, be so... Let's not touch that. <laughs> Alright, we have three chests. I swear I got one of these. Who, baby, loves me. Ooh, and me, I'm gonna use that. I'm running out of room. Alright, I'm gonna save it even before... All right, immediately I'm using a right. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to empty the gun first, actually. Yeah, that's 13 bullets. And now I'm gonna reload you because you're practically empty. All right, a Mark 23 handgun. Its stats are pretty decent. I'm gonna eat you. Uh, yeah. There's nothing there I want. I'm gonna use just a regular tool. Thank you. I absolutely am gonna call it and go back to... Okay, not that way. Thank you. And this is, by the way, how I played ha all the entire game. For New Game Plus, this is how exactly I played it. Let me tell you, a lot of the music sounds extremely weird when you do that. As you can hear. The menu music is horrible, though. Alright, we got a bunch of super tools, and I'm gonna save the game before I touch them just to make sure I actually know how they work. Because if I use it wrong, and I think it does something when it actually doesn't, ooh, it's gonna set me back quite a bit. Beautiful. I'll take a mess too for now. You never know. I might get hit. <laughs> Maybe I'll split the Chrysler building up uh, videos up into thirties. And then the last 10 will be its own video. 30, 60, 90, and then after that, the last 10, because of what they signify and what's on the very last floor. Yeah, 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 I'm thinking that could work. Yeah, you know what, that's better than just releasing one video, and it's just a mess of me speeding up, slowing down entirely. I doubt anyone wants to watch a 10 hour video of someone going through a Chrysler building. Oh boy. Yeah, so we get to floor 30. Alright, at least I get the key. Alright, run. Alright, let's do this. the ammo. This, so far the Chrysler building is keeping me well stocked. You just gotta remember my gun needs 240 bullets. That number drops a lot when I reload, but then it goes back up and then it drops. It goes back up. It's working out quite well. I am really, really glad. Oh, we got who am I fighting? Oh. 
I'm really glad I changed the folder and the hard drive, all the recordings going, because, uh, yeah, one hard drive's kind of empty. It has all my emulation games. The other one's kind of full, full of my Steam games. My inventory's full. God damn it. Oh, wait. Use a medicine. Excellent. Then let me use offense on my gun. A sword. So I have to search for things. Another tool. Give me something to use that tool on, please. Oh my god. Look at that grenade launcher. Alright, so first things first. That grenade launcher is a uh, burst. Spray multiple targets. Okay. So this grenade launcher can have a lot of mods. I'm gonna put it in storage. I'm not gonna use it probably. I'm really happy with this boy here, but I will hold on to that grenade launcher because it could probably be useful if I screw up somewhere down the line and need a backup plan. Because right now, this is the gun I'm using now, the P90, which is now the Warden, is really good for... Uh, it's really good for either a single target or multiple enemies. Uh, elevator. And... Am I running back the way I came? No, okay. Whoops. And the grenade launcher is really good for a group of enemies, and it also does a decent amount of damage. It has a very slow firing, though. That's what... It's making me hesitant on using it. I always find it weird, though. A grenade launcher uses the same, amount, the same type of bullets in this game. It uses the same type of bullets as a pistol, a assault rifle, a sniper. The rocket launcher is the only thing that uses a different ammo type. The rocket. The only one. Which I'm not going to complain, it'll just take up more inventory space. Oh, for a second there, I actually thought the game froze. I would have been so furious. You know, I think I'm going to do a safety save state. And eh, nah, I think I'll be fine. I, I... I'll be fine. I think we're almost to the floor 30, and then when we reach it, I'm gonna cut it. And by cut it, I mean go to the police station and save, and swap everything off, and I will try the super tool out on my own time. Or I'll just do it. And probably. I have no inventory space. Stop giving me things I like. Right, another elevator. Ah, beautiful. A type sixty four. One second. Hello, what is that? What do you do? Critical percentage increases. Okay. Oh. Do I want to put that? Oh, man. Look at the stats. That, mm. Do I want to increase my percentage? I'm thinking. Because what I can do is... I can put that on the Warden as my last perk. And then I can, you know... So I can do that. The Type 64. And give me that. Use a regular tool. Yes. It's ready. <laughs> can I override one? Like, if I do this, can I override, let's say... You, uh, maybe I'll try that so I can get rid of one of these. Critical percentage increases, which honestly, yeah, that sounds pretty good. No. 
Give me more defense. Same with blind resistance, this resistance, that. I'm speeding it up. Alright, another floor down. Alright, we should be nearing floor 30. My health is full. My PE energy is full. So if I run across those stupid chest monsters again, I can take it out. I'm not gonna lie, I immediately see the percentage of the crits pop up more. So yeah, it's gonna increase my damage more. Because this gun, despite its power saying it's high, each bullet individually is... It's not... If it was a pistol, it'd deal a lot more. Oh yeah, look at those crits. I mean, I was doing a lot of crits before, but now I'm doing more. Nice. I'm happy. But yeah, the things like pistols and stuff, the power is what it is. For this guy, you shoot multiple times, and... Yeah. Oh, that's a shotgun. So I can do that on my... Oh. Hmm. No, no. Putting that on this, and having explosions in groups, no. I'm good. This gun already is great for groups anyways. I want to know who does the layout of the Chrysler building, because my god, they should be fired. Who built this building? <laughs> you think they'd want to make sense? Right, and I, I, I instantly die. Oh, yes. Alright, what items am I going to get today? I'm going to keep the shotgun. I really am. Um, How many do we have? Two, okay. Give me a second. I have one slot open. We're getting rid of... Oh, thank God. I can get rid of... Let's sort so everything goes to the bottom. Alright, let's see... God damn it. I don't want him. It just gives me ammo. Okay, quickly. Uh, where are you? One thousand damage. Ugh. A revive. Actually, I'll take that. I used quite a few rebeat in the game. Because, uh, Mr. Somebody never, uh, took speed off during some boss battles. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, I don't want that anyways. Let me see what the stats are like. Let me go to the ward. The jacket. Uh, honestly. I will take those. I got the tools to spare at the moment. Yeah, give me that. So, once again, two slots just opened up, which is really nice. All right, speeding up. All right, so I have to go north. Boss, perfect. All right, I'll be calling the video after I kill this guy, which, with the way the last few went, I should have it back. All right, 229. What is it? The centipede. Keep moving. Oh, it's doing a lot more damage. This gun is perfect for the centipede. And there it is. Yes! 
I wish there was an elevator here. Because I'd hate to go back and try and find an elevator. Pop a three, pop a two, we're happy. Alright, I'm gonna speed it up. There it is. Whew, first floor. Oh, wrong way. Actually, let me save first. I want to try something. Alright. Alright, I'm curious. I really am. Let me equip the SV suit. Which, its stats are really good. Now, if I were to use, let's say, uh, SV suit, pretty decent stats, but, yeah. I'm, this is a test. I want to use a super tool. Super, yes. And yep, it doesn't break. It doesn't break. Okay, okay. I'm not saving that. But I'm gonna save it for a better armor in the future. But yes, okay. Super tools do do that. But yeah, I'm gonna call it here. I am, oh, two hours in. Holy cow. But the bits on the beginning where I was doing stuff will be cut out. Um. So we're on floor 30 out of 100. We are one... I'm not one... Uh, no, not one third. Yeah. A decent chunk of it is done. We're now on floor 30. Have to get to a floor 100. I'm going to cut these into four videos. 30 videos for each. Or 30 floors for each video. And the last video will be the last 10 floors. And the story element that resides up on the top floor. I think that is the wisest decision to do. And, yeah, I think that's exactly what I will do. So, yeah, uh, honestly, I'll see you next time. I think that's where I'll call it for this one. I will do that. 30, 30, and then 10. So, I'll uh, see you later. Oh, I can't pause recording. Oh, that's great. Hmm. Show went for tea earlier. Well, I'll see you later, and uh, we'll continue the Chrysler Tower. Goodbye.